Well, the, the tasker collection only consists of one thing, and that's a photo album. Morgan has scanned all these photographs and has researched the two people who photographed them. Who are they? Who are the tasker? Where, where did they come from? Why did they come to Labrador? What happened to them afterwards? And another thing we, we, Morgan and I have discussed quite a bit, how did we get this? I mean, we, it was purchased from a private book dealer, bookseller, but where'd it come from before that? There's this whole story that, you know, we never before had access to. In order to understand the album, one really needs to understand what the expedition was. Um, and conversely, it's difficult to really get a handle on the expedition unless, unless you see the pictures. So you sort of develop the understanding of, the, of those two things together. The narrative and the pictures are sort of inseparable. The expedition was written about by uh, both Stephen Tasker and Florence Tasker in a bunch of different ways. And sort of the, the story of those stories is interesting. Two people crossed Ungava in 1906. So they left uh, Philadelphia by, by rail and then went through Toronto and went up um, sort of as far as they could by rail. Um, then took to the canoe with two guides, George Elson, um, who was made famous already by, um, by having accompanied the Hubbards and Job Chapies. Um, so they, they canoed up the Missinabi River to, um, to Moose Factory. They went up James Bay all the way up um, the coast and then across. So there's photos of everything that they saw along the way, of local people, of traders, of indigenous people, um, of the landscape. One of the great things about these photos, which makes them you know, relatively rare, um, is the presence of captions. Um, yes. Right, so in some cases, particularly if, if you look at the photos alongside the printed accounts, you can figure out where exactly the photos were taken. So we do have a lot of photos of Northern Labrador in general, or of Ungava in general, but these ones are great in that often you can figure out exactly where uh, the photos were taken. One of the most important things I think to keep in mind about doing any kind of archival research or, or research in general is that one thing leads to another. So yes. once, once you have this album, all of a sudden you can find things that people didn't know about before and then those things lead to new questions and those questions lead to new answers. Um, so digitization uh, is an important part of that, but also just sharing and conversation mm -hmm. is an important part of that. For us in the archives world, it's important uh, for preservation, just to keep them and preserve them for generations to come. And then once they're digitized, people can look at the digital image and we can actually put this back in a proper archival box and store under proper archival conditions. It's also the bigger things, everybody gets to see them. You don't have to come into Memorial Campus in St. John's. <coughs> you can be in Labrador, you can be anywhere.